Hello once again and welcome to this tips and tricks video. In this video I will be covering lots of tips and tricks generally evolving around abilities and glitches. And to jump right into it all, I'm gonna start off by showing you a little trick with Nomad that you may or may not just know. Um, his first ability actually uh, allows you to move through buildings. I'm gonna try here with the sacrificial shrine and let's see how it works. Boom, right through the building. And that's Dead Arachna. This little thing here um, with his true strike uh, actually also works through Empath Wall. Um, as I will show you right here. Boom. Charges right through it. You wouldn't obviously be able to walk through it even if you tried. See, not even with direct pathing. Nope. Just to make this clear, um, Nomad, Nomad sick, uh, uh, third ability, excuse me, Mirror Strike actually also does charge through the wall here. Let's just show here. Boom, right through it. So it works for both of them. And this obviously also works with the illusion through the, t the buildings. Okay, see that charges right through the building to the unit. Another little tip here um, that really helps out, especially in laning phase with uh, creep killing, but also in a situation where you're against an empath, for example, which allows you to actually hit through the wall, is a little uh, game mechanic here that you may not just know about. Um, if you go into your options here, um, controls, and you scroll a little bit down here, you see direct direct pathing. You, I just bind my prime of key primary key, excuse me, to my uh, mouse, mouse X1 and uh, that is the um, like go backwards on the, when you browse the web and uh, that works fine for me so uh, the way it works is you hold that down and then you click somewhere and your hero will, will try to move in that direction. This comes in handy and uh, let's say you're against the Pharaoh and you are trying to maintain a special position uh, facing like you want to face in a specific direction because you're against the pharaoh and you want to get tablet out of the mummy walls you know so this ca can come in very handy there but also in a situation like this let's say I'm against an empath right she she makes the wall slightly too close you know if I just click I can't uh, obviously hit her because because she's on the other side of the wall so let's just make one more here um, like that no, can't hit, but if I use direct pathing, I'm going to be able to hit through the wall. Through the wall. She can obviously move back, but let's say she's stunned or something, you know? Like, if I just if I just click on her, you won't hit her, but direct pathing, you'll hit her. So that's how it works. This also works in very well in laning phase, where you can actually hit through multiple, multiple creeps, so I really order you to <laughs> start using this very effectively. And then I have another little cool thing here in is like I just try to wanna kinda wanna try and explain to you how this spell actually works. Uh, because you do actually get two auto attacks basically plus um eighty damage. Um, and it's not just one and eight then eighty damage. Um, because and this actually allows for items such as rift shots of Savage Mage to proc multiple times, as you can see here. This little trick or should I call it glitch is uh, something that I found on an accident when playing Monkey King where I actually uh, went for the top rune here I was playing Legion and uh, you know there was a hero here and I let's just say like this I um, used my dash and uh, see what happens and you can just walk up and down from this hill I'm pretty sure I when I to see this video they're gonna change it, but this works every single time. Let me just try and get down from here. <laughs> um, every single time you just face in this direction, like right here, use your dash, you click up, free to walk. Counts walk over here. Excellent escape. So uh, go ahead and <laughs> abuse that as much as you want until uh, you can't do that anymore if you're watching this video somewhere. Uh, far away from now, but uh, at least you, you can do it uh, now, so go ahead and enjoy that at least. It works a lot of different places. Basically, everywhere there's a little edge, like not a like really tall edge. You can do it here and, and here and yeah, all, all these edges, but yeah, you, you can actually um, buck that through. You know, the elusive, elusive dash, dash you want to try and, and kind of stay, uh, if I should say it, tell a 
ra tell you a range, specific range. I would say around 300 to 400 range. Ra range. Then then it then it'll work. Like then you like actually see that was a little bit too 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 far away. So maybe there. Yeah. So so it's just about that. You you you, you get the feel. Go ahead and try yourself. <laughs> Uh, it's more so a little glitch there, yeah. but it it works great for 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 getaways and all that stuff. Um, and then I want to talk about lodestone because I see a lot of people who don't really understand it. Uh, let's first go over the head smash, the secondary ability here. Uh, it's just 20 mixed damage. Uh, so you might wonder, what is mixed damage? You know, you always like physical and magic damage, but this is actually, in theory, like one of the worst damage types because um, it actually both get uh, reduced by both magic and physical armor meaning that I mean it deals less damage than magic damage and less damage than physical damage uh, but however in this case uh, Lodestone does have the ulti that also does mixed, mixed damage just to talk about that <laughs> uh, two mixed damage spells but this ability Shatterstorm actually causes all physical and magic damage taken to have a 100% armor permutation um, so like the, both the magic armor and the physical damage when under this effect um, will be completely ignored so this you know it kinda adds up then you know this is true damage suddenly instead of mixed damage so also I want to explain to you exactly how lodestone ulti works uh, for this I'm gonna slow down the game at 50% then let's look. I press the ulti. You see the counter here? If Empath s starts to hit now, you will see him take less and less damage. This right here is percentage uh, of the damage he takes less. And this, when it's 100, it's, it explodes. And now he takes 100% damage himself. You see the significant amount of damage? I mean, that's insane. Uh, and if I were to use this, I don't know if I can get it in time. No, I can't. Oh. But if I were to use my head smash, while this effect was on empath they would both take true damage because you also have the effect on yourself so that's just kinda to, ex to explain the, to uh, this kinda the way this works to you because a lot of people don't realize this <laughs> and they're like what I just got one shattered by a lodestone oh well there you go true damage bro uh, so uh, that also should also be kinda quite obvious now but I'm gonna say it anyways that the way you use this combination is you hide in the trees let me just go 100% click R don't have it ready right now use this to get in with it when you're like two or two, one or two seconds left stun then when this ulti activates you want to use this when the enemy has the effect on because it's you know it's not a lot of damage when you when the enemy doesn't have your ulti effect the shadow storm effect on them because it's obviously not true damage then you're gonna have maybe half of the damage then instead depending on the magic armor and the physical armor of the hero. This is a little tip here with Parasite. When denying or um, pushing towers and you have a ranged uh, creep or in this case a heavy ballista uh, and you actually consume the creep uh, while the attack projectile is in the air projectile, excuse me uh, then nobody will get the gold. Let's see how you won't even get the denied sound see that you see the tower died nothing nobody gets gold no, not, not even denied uh, keep this in mind when you push however as well if you have a catapult it's getting low and it dies um, you may like it may not be intended obviously but if it die while the attack projectile is in the air and you do get the last hit of the tower with that attack projectile well you just denied 1500 gold from your team so <laughs> yeah keep that in mind and when we have a parasite or Ophelia this work w works obviously with Ophelia as well uh, especially after the um, the new uh, new and new like a couple of months ago they changed so that Ophelia creeps uh, the Ophelia player can now kill his own creeps so if you kill the Skelly King for example for instance um, while the attack projectile is in the air um, you also get a free deny uh, like 100% deny where they don't even get the 100 gold so yeah go ahead and use that uh, a lot of people may <laughs> get a little upset about this because uh, now everyone will go around doing that and that's pretty annoying I don't know if it's gonna be, get, be changed S2 actually said that this mechanic was intended yeah this mechanic is intended it may not seem very li like it but very much like it but 
that is the case. So you, it's not a, it's not illegal. You can use it. You're not gonna get banned. Um, so yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> obviously. So this last little tip here I have for you is uh, with a Ragna, and uh, it's about the precision spell, the third ability of a Ragna. Um, let's have a look here. It says at level four, this ability gains you True Strike. Yo, your building is getting uh, if you're not familiar with True Strike, that is basically um, what you pay five thousand four hundred gold to to get with the Savage Mage. You see True Strike right there. Um, the 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 only the, the only slight difference, just slight difference here, is that this effect is AOE to your entire team. That's what six hundred and in radius of this at least. So all your f ranged friends are creeps or whatever. That is in 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 six hundred range of wh whatever the radius is exactly. Will get the Savage Mage True Strike effect. <laughs> at level 4. So, the kind of tip here is, if you have, let's say, Tempest in specific, a heavy pusher team uh, consisting of, let's say, Tempest and a couple of other ranged heroes, if you do have this level 4, when you start to push the base, these towers will drop 33% faster, because 33% is the uphill chance miss. So, I'm just gonna kind of let you to, to, to kind of make uh, this easier for you to see, I'm gonna have these, all these ranged creeps and heroes hit empath, and you can see all the miss, 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 miss. You see that? Oh, that was not a recognition painting. Okay, you can see all the miss, right? All right, now let's see what happens with 28% the base damage as well as AOE true, true strike. So I'm just gonna go ahead and level Arachna up to level seven, get four levels in that, and then. Doesn't matter about the rest, Let's just get this. No misses. Not a single one. Let's move away with Ragna. Actually, we need this guy over here so you can still see it. Let's move away with Ragna. Boom! They start missing. It's pretty significant, huh? You see this? Yeah, you. I'm sure there's not a lot who wasn't rare. Actually, I was talking with a uh, friend yesterday on Skype. We just played some TMM, and he wasn't aware of this. I mean, so that's why I'm bringing this to you. I'm sure there's a couple of you who doesn't know about this. If not, then uh, you see this effective pretty significant. I mean, 28% magic damage, 31 damage in, our, in Archer. That's that's crazy. Oh well, I'll see you guys. Peace out.